Welcome to another episode of How To With Hal. And Hal, on this episode, it's something that uh, I really have appreciated. I've seen you do this before, but it's something that uh, many of our viewers have mentioned, and that is nickel plating. And it's really a cool process when you're able to do that. And today we're going to see how to do that on some drivers. But uh, we know this process takes about 10 minutes in the liquid, so we'll explain it after we get started. But the only thing we want to mention is that uh, you're using this uh, solution, this nickel mirror plating solution. Yeah, I'll right? show this right where the camera yeah. can see it. Yeah, it's a green solution. Of course, we don't need to tell you, but we're going to tell you anyways. Don't drink this stuff. Uh, use it as recommended. Uh, in most cases here, you're not going to use it with any heat, though, today. No, I'm, I do it without heat. It says yeah. to use 140 degrees, turn your rectifier on. They're saying three to four volts. I've been using two volts. Yeah, even less. Yeah. Uh, for 30, I'm going 10 minutes because it's on a driver. It's something sure. that's going to wear. Yeah, okay. And I haven't had a bit of problem. Now, this is a fresh bottle. Never been used before. And you get it at a jeweler, right? You get, get it at a jeweler. jeweler supply. When I'm done with it, I just pour it back into the, and use it over and over. I still got another one at the house. It's still. Cool. You can tell when it starts to uh, deplete on you. You don't right. get as much. You might, the nickel doesn't look good. You can still see through it. It's time to throw it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see what we've got here. We've got our uh, voltage supply. And how, how many volts are you Going to I'm going to do here. at about two volts. Okay. When I drop the wheel in there, the driver in there, it mm -hmm. may drop a little bit. I may have to increase may it. Adjust it. Uh, okay. Something you want to make sure. Now, I've got this little gadget here. If, if I want to plate side rods, mm -hmm. I can clip four side rods on here. Okay. And I just have the fluid up, come up to about here. Okay. I don't need to. You okay. can see this plating on here before right, far right. you. And so just a basic set though you've got your jar with your solution in here you've got your anode they're positive and and your cathode right cathode is the ground is ground uh, okay, here anode, is right. a old anode this is actually stainless steel stainless mm -hmm. steel has nickel in it and if you can see in the picture there yeah this one is pretty well used up a lot of nickel out of it so i've got a brand new uh Nickel anode, never been used. Uh, I think I paid about ten dollars for it. The solution is twenty twenty-five. Okay. Uh, it's cyanide free. Good. We don't want to drink it. Don't want to drink it. <laughs> uh, the stuff I used twenty years ago had cyanide in it, and Ooh. it said causes death in seconds. I bet. I bet. So I always kept it uh, under lock and key. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and. Okay. Uh, well, I want to explain one more driver. thing. Mm -hmm. Uh. This little Dremel tool, that's a silicon abrasive wheel, it's medium grit. Mm -hmm. And I went around, this is a driver here that has no flange on it. And I, the plating was already gone on it. So I polished it with this. I okay. just uh, put this hemostat on one of the bearings and touch it to it and spun the wheel and kind of put a little resistance on it. Yeah. Or you can go around it in circles and clean it, but you don't want, they want the uh, brass to be surgically clean. Right, so don't touch it with your fingers don't at all. Don't touch it with yeah. your fingers. Right, okay. It's gotta be surgically clean. Okay. And, uh, and, and as far as uh, okay. grabbing it here, what are you grabbing? Right now, I have got this clip on the insulated side. I'm touching the brass and in the wheel center mm -hmm. so that, uh, It'll pa bypass the insulation. Yeah, because otherwise it's not going to do it. Yeah, and that's yeah. The if whole idea. I clipped it on the uninsulated side, you would get no plating on the right. insulated side. And that might look a little different. So I've got the uh, alligator clipped on the edge and then caught into one of the spokes. Also, before I came up here today, last night I sprayed this thing with clear coat. Okay. So I don't get... Uh, plating on the spokes. Oh, you can paint over it. Right, right. And I, I squirted some oil in the bearings, so plating won't uh, get in there. Okay. Now you mentioned that the grasp of that alligator clip is on the inside edge. Wherever, it's it's kind of catching the inside edge. But it'll flow underneath there. The plating yeah, will yeah, flow it'll underneath. Yeah, it'll flow under there. It's right on the edge. You wouldn't see it anyhow. Okay, okay. And, uh, all right. Let's see. 
Yeah, the reason why I got oil on the barons, you'll want to plate the barons to the shaft. They'll end up freezing. Yeah, okay. Dirty. Usually when I like to plate wheels is when the wheels are dirty. Okay. You got an old paint on them and all that. Right, right. And I'll just clean the treads. Okay. Yeah, so bring it over here just a little bit so we can see that on the upper camera there. Okay, very good. All right, looking at that. All right, so let's... Uh, okay, I'm going to check and make sure I haven't yeah. lost contact by touching this to here. You can see... Let me see our voltmeter go up. Okay, okay, I'm going to drop it in. Okay, and we'll start the timer. I want to submerge the driver. I want to shake it. I don't want any air bubbles on it. And I want to make sure it's not touching the anode. Right. Okay, I'm going to go up to about two volts. Okay. And I'm going to, just so I don't have to hold this, I'm going to. There you go. I'll just hold that with my finger while we're okay. chatting. All right, very good. I'm going to leave this in about 10 minutes. You okay, know we got you going here. So we'll do that. So uh, I guess a, a couple of other, other questions on this is that you mentioned, uh, you know, even offset, we were talking, you and I, earlier about, you know, you can do the side rods and everything, and I, I know you've got your piece there, but you might not want the side rods, you know, nice and shiny with a nickel plate. So what do you do? Well, if your rods are already plated in mm -hmm. a good plate, mm -hmm. something I've done in the past is take a, take a piece of wood mm -hmm. and tape down some masking tape, sticky side up. You've got to put a piece on the ends. Or, and, mm -hmm. and then I'll, lay the, I'll stick the rods on that masking tape, the back side of it. Okay. And I'll take it in my sandblast cabinet. I'll probably probably about one pass down, one slow pass down. Okay. And it'll, and that, it'll, and that'll it'll dull them dull down. Dull it a little bit. Okay. It'll give it a steel gray color. Oh, cool. Yeah, that that well, that's that's a good way to handle that. And then uh, some of the other things that you can nickel plate that we were talking about, some maybe even the cylinders. And I have plated uh, PS4 Southern cylinder heads. Okay. With uh, nickel plate. Uh, I usually strip the cylinders of their clear coat, mm -hmm. and then I'll take uh, one of my Dremel II brass brushes, not mm -hmm. steel, and I'll polish up, get those cylinder caps polished real good, and then I'll mask them off. You don't, then I'll paint it. Uh, that way you don't get, Plating, you all get some inside the cylinder, but don't worry right, about right. that. But take the masking tape off after you paint it, clean it up mm -hmm. so there's no paint on the cylinders, mm -hmm. and dip it in for 10 minutes. Now, some models, I have uh, the PFM United model, the cylinder caps won't come off because they're, they're kind of riveted on right, from the inside. Right. Uh, I've taken some other models, and I've actually unsoldered the cylinder caps and plated them and put them back on with my torch. You see, oh, really? it, up and it doesn't hurt. This steel, this ah, nickel is not going to hurt. Yeah. It doesn't flake off. Boy, that's all right. <laughs> now, as far as plating a whole locomotive, no. Yeah. By the way, could, could you I'll do mention it? something there. Could you do it? You, well, yeah, you could do it, probably. Uh -huh. But there's something else that's out on the market right now. Mm -hmm. It's called liquid chrome. I've seen it, yeah. It looks like you've plated it. Yeah. But yeah. I don't, but of course, you're not going to put that on your wheels. It's right. paint. Right, right. But it works great for reflectors and headlights. And I've done this on headlights. Yeah. And this in, inside of the headlight inside. there. Yeah. It, it looks like the really? flashlight. Wow. Hmm. That's a pretty You cool can get tip. it in uh, uh, paint or felt tip pens, or you can buy, I think it's 30 milliliters for like $31. Wow. Now, this nickel mirror. How expensive is a bottle like this? I think that's about, I think I paid, when I first started out, it was $10 a bottle. Then went up to 15 I may have paid 25 for that one. I don't okay. remember now. So a quart for about 25 bucks yeah. or so. And how long does it last? You mentioned you, you're able to reuse it. Uh, you uh, know, I have never 
I don't plate that often. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, I, as far as there's no shelf life on it that I know of. Okay. As far as how many drivers I get out of that, I've never kept track. That's like somebody asked me the other day, how many locomotives can you get out of your driver, <laughs> your, out of your nitrogen tank? Right. I finally counted. I Did get you about, really? About 12 medium-sized locomotives ah, out okay. of a tank of nitrogen. Okay. But as far as number of drivers, I haven't. How's our time going? We're at five minutes. Oh. Halfway through. Halfway through. Yeah. I'm going to pull it up and take a look at it. Uh-oh. Sneak peek. Oh. Is it looking good? Oh, it's looking good, Roland. Good. <laughs> We can't wait. <laughs> well, we're going to have to. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Now, is it add, Is it building the nickel plate it's on there? It's just getting thicker and thicker. Thicker and thicker. As far as putting a caliper on it, I, I didn't bring my caliper the other day. I don't think you can measure it. Okay. Uh, now, I left, I left something in there one day for, I uh, completely forgot it, hours, and it, was, it took lucky it, it was, it lost its identity. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. So we've got, actually what it's doing is it's, it's flowing from positive to, to, to negative. negative. Uh, so the reason why the, uh, the anode. anode, remember mm -hmm. anode is always positive and it's mm -hmm. stainless steel, it's got nickel in it. I could have bought a pure nickel anode, but it's expensive, like yeah. $25, and it won't even fit in this jar. Ah, okay. Okay. You got you got to bend some legs on or cut part of it off. And, and so how long did your other anode over there last? Oh, I've had that for several years. Okay, okay. It just eats away at it a little yeah. bit. That's but all. It takes the nickel out of the stainless steel. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, that's all right. And now, um, as, as far as your use of 1.5, you're saying, maybe 1.5 to I'm 2 volts? I'm doing uh, 2 volts right now, and I'm drawing... Uh, 300 milliamps of current. Okay, and it's very important uh, as and we. You don't want. Uh, if you see bubbles coming off, it's too much. It's too high. Okay. Back it off so you don't get any bubbles. Okay. And okay. you want to kind of swish it around in there a little bit. If you get a, an air bubble, and it stays there, mm -hmm. it's not going to plate under the air bubble. Okay. There you go. Now we, we before we started, you were over here testing your box, making sure that you had the the, the correct lead on the positive, the correct one on the negative. Yeah, Very you want to make sure you get your polarity correct. Yeah. You don't need to plate this yeah. uh, <laughs> anode. Yeah, otherwise it'd be going the other way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. See, I got this set up where positive is red, and right. when this is off to this side, I, you know, I just. When I'm, when I'm at home, I don't have to go measure the polarity. Yeah. I know okay. where it is. Very good. All right. So but, this, uh, this will be really nice. Yeah, you can take, uh, and I've never worn my plating off that I've plated either. Really? And something else, I take this wheel up there. Now, mm -hmm. when I'm removing paint, mm -hmm. I'll have the wheels in the engine or the frame, just to frame the gearbox side rods that's mm -hmm. the side rods the frame of the drivers of the motor and the gearbox put it upside down and spin it and i will take a little stubby small paintbrush or flock of thinner and i clean start at the flange and i work out to the edge mm. i do not go all the way to the edge with the lacquer thinner mm -hmm. because as soon as you get lacquer thinner on the edge and it goes up on the sidewall the paint's going to chip off on you ah. So I'll go up to maybe a half a millimeter from the edge, and then I'll put that at about 1,200 RPM mm -hmm. and have the drivers turning, and all I got to do is touch it about two seconds, three wow. seconds, and it takes off that paint. Isn't that something? Boy, oh boy. And you really got to run that a long time mm -hmm. to remove the plating. Now, there are some companies out there. One of the Great Northern 01 brought in by PFM Ski. Mm -hmm. They chemically plated the tender wheels. Because I put that yeah. wheel on there one time to clean some paint off, and the nickel came off that fast. Wow, wow. You, wow. Can, buy, you can buy, I've seen places that sell it chemically plate uh, nickel, hmm. but it won't stay on. It won't stay on. It doesn't yeah. bond. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen this process. How's our time doing? We're at 9 minutes and 15 seconds. So we got about okay. 45 seconds okay. left. Yeah, I've seen over in Korea uh, some of these large baths 
that they have where they do some of this plating. Is and it, it electrical or chemical? Yeah, it's electrical. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really, really interesting though. Yeah, okay, we ready? Done. Yeah, let's go ahead. Ta-da. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Hold it up. Yeah. There you go. And turn it just a little bit. There you go. We see the shine. Now it just rotates. It yeah. Around. Look at that. Now, if I was at home, I, I would have a bowl of water right. just to rinse it off. Yeah. Now, I saw a... No, that's good. That's good. That's just the liquid I see on there. Nice. Boy, pretty shiny. Huh? That's the way it should be. Towel over there and all. Yeah. Like a new driver. Yes, it is. <laughs> nice job, Hal. Really, that's really cool. And so you can do any of your drivers. You can do your trucks, uh, any of that, yeah. right? Cylinder caps, side rods. Side rods, uh, valve gear. Yeah. I've never had to plate a valve gear. Okay. Uh, I've only plated rods maybe one time, but uh, okay. I'd say 95% of my plating has been on drivers. Boy, it looks good when it's done. <laughs> Wow, very nice. And so it's a pretty simple technique when you think about it, yeah. uh, how it happens. So if you just follow the, follow the uh, instructions, safety things right? on yeah, there. Yeah, safety first, of course. You know, I'm everything. not wearing rubber gloves. I'm not getting any on my hands. Yeah, but of course the I'm bottle, not drinking it. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. We'll have a beer later, but don't drink it now. <laughs> All right, Hal. Well, certainly appreciate you showing this little, uh, little tip here, how to be able to uh, plate, driver, cylinders, you name it. Hey, uh, this, this is safe what we're doing. Mm -hmm. People say, oh, you shouldn't be careful. But, yeah. you know, just go by the directions. That's it. That's all you got to do. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Okay, glad you're doing it. it.